Now in our original biomechanics lab study at Dr. Frank Job's lab, we looked at vision and how balance uh, impacted vision. Uh, and subsequently now we've um, looked at a variety of sports and activities where vision uh, changes based upon balance. Uh, here in the lab we'll line up six tennis balls, six softballs, six baseballs. You'll notice that all of these have lines on them. And we'll line six in a row up about 18 inches apart uh, and we'll set the uh, individual, uh, if it's with a tennis racket, face on down the line as though they're ready to receive uh, service. And when we put them in balance, they'll tell us that line is, line, everything lines up perfectly. And if we have them stand just a bit out of balance, uh, as little as an inch difference, uh, they'll tell us that that ball moved left or right or the lines on the ball no longer line up. So the visual perception of that ball in space is incorrect. Softball, baseball, uh, we'll set up a home plate here and we'll have uh, these six balls lined up. We set with a laser the lines on the balls again about 18 inches apart and we will uh, have them stand in balance and when they stand in balance they'll tell us the line's going down the middle of the plate. When they step out of balance they'll tell us that line is going uh, left or right, or that it's going to be inside or outside. The pitch is going to be inside or outside. This has implications for visual perception of both the release of the pitch and that ball in space. And, and hitters will tell you that time means everything to them. Time means everything. We can also change their grip size on their bats and we'll see their body change and as a function of that body change, even though they're standing in balance, they'll report that line moving. So grip size is another aspect of our sight here. In golf, we put a line on a ball. Many players use a line on a ball to a toothpick. <clears throat> we do when we're using the golf school. Players will line this up uh, down their target line. They, and they will tell us, well, I stopped using the line because it never looked like it was going where it was supposed to be going. When you're standing in balance with a putter over a ball with a line on it, when you're in balance, your visual perception of that line is that it's going to track your line. Step out of balance and you'll report that that line is going to move left or right. We actually have a piece of plexiglass that has a toothpick about 12 inches from the line and we'll line this up to that toothpick uh, and uh, have players stand in and out of balance and they'll tell us it moves uh, left or right of that toothpick when they're out of balance and when they're in balance their visual perception is that line is going to intersect the toothpick. That's just a few of the activities <clears throat> from tennis, baseball, softball, golf. Test this uh, for yourself whether you participate in those activities or not. If you take a golf ball, line it up to a toothpick using a string line at two or three feet and you'll notice when you step in balance it looks good, out of balance that line does not, visual, your visual perception of that line changes. Uh, and if you are involved in one of these other sports, set the balls up, draw a straight line on them, get them in a line, and you'll be able to understand and begin to see the effect balance has on your vision.